I'm glad we have returned to Enbar. It's far warmer than the kingdom, for one. How are you doing, Your Majesty? I hope you've been getting some rest, at least. It seems you never stop working unless someone physically pulls you away from it. I've been getting more rest than Hubert, at least. We're here in the gardens, chatting, are we not? Fair enough. And so I'm clear, even a sliver of your time is a blessing beyond all measure. Though, I suggest you find a better point of comparison than Hubert for how hard you work. This is the part where you nobles all crowd around a table slurping on tea, right? Seems like a good enough way to unwind a bit. Tea? I wouldn't mind were it just myself and Her Majesty, but... Hmm? What's happening in the throne room? Hubert, what's wrong? Intruders in the palace, Your Majesty. They entered through one of the secret passages, and are even now attempting to hunt you down. I sent soldiers to intercept them, but we should be prepared for anything. Do you think it's those who slither in the dark? I know not. But they could not have breached that passage without assistance from the inside. Though there are only a few who know of that passage, and would be capable of acting as a guide. Your Majesty, might you kindly step this way? Hubert, do you really think she would do that? Trying to annihilate me as well? Thanks to you, the assassin made their escape! As though one of your paltry skill would have caught such elusive prey in the first <sighs> place. What matters now is that we give pursuit. All trespassers must be felled without mercy. means the attackers. They must be the Knights of Cirrus's assassins. We must protect Her Majesty with everything we have. Stop the enemy incursion. Seal up those entry points before reinforcements arrive. that you remain in the throne room where it will be easier to defend you and protect enemy movements. And as your protection will require my full attention, I will remain here at your side. Starting the mission. Is that an order? It was careless to be allowing assassins inside. We must exterminate them with much haste. in sheep's clothes. Sure, whatever. Where's the Emperor? 
Not a problem. I've got this. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. So... What should I be doing again? So... Sure. Bear witness. <laughs> Starting the mission. Is that an order? About time! Target, which means you're wasting my time. Can't waste another minute. Slippery creature, let's stay on guard. Over here, more intruders. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Not a problem. I've got this. Starting the mission. So... what should I be doing again? Sure. 
bear witness. I shall never back down! Crush them all! Is there even one room I can be alone? down efficiently. Stand, coward. Your life is forfeit. Hm. Ah! Starting the mission. Is that an order? I'm ready. The enemy is trying to seize the fire orbs. If they succeed, they'll be... I will gladly handle this. Be able to talk your majesty. Amazing. We can't let that happen. My turn. Starting the mid is that an order? So, well, sure, let's try it. <gasps> Take a breather. That was too close. We best stay on our guard, Your Majesty. <laughs> this struggle for four. <laughs> I'm glad you took care of those reinforcements. The last thing I want is more work. Bear witness. Not good. We're sitting ducks now. Your life is forced. My turn. About time. Get to fight. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Starting the mission. Is that an order? Not a problem. I've got this. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Take a breather. Should I be doing? 
Sure, let's try it. Starting the mission is... It is time. I have this. It is time. My turn. with the true problem at hand. We will not escape our clutches this time. This will be amazing! I'm really keeping the heat on. All right, time for another approach. We knock the face. It seems clear the enemy won't come out of hiding until I do. That may be true, Your Majesty. But is it wise to place yourself in such peril? I'm ready. Starting the mission. It I will gladly handle this. Or caught one. Bear Do it. Witness. Stand down. It's a trap. Yes. Try and lure us out, but such courage will cost you your life. Thunder, Catherine. It seems Rhea is not playing around. We've broken through. We must hurry to her Majesty's side. Not a problem. I've got this. Starting the mission. Is that an order? No mercy to the Archbishop's enemies! My lord, we stand ready to walk the Emperor back to the throne room upon your command. Your punishment! Do it! This'll be a my turn! As you wish. Use the magic! It is time. A wise man is ever ready. I'm ready! <laughs> Nicely done! Thank you, Minister Hebrick. You did it! the end! <laughs> But don't worry, I've got your back. Pretty strange, Shamir. I heard you quit the Knights of Saras, yet here you are. Well, someone's done their research. Yeah, 
I'm just another mercenary now. And we make you an offer. Come work for us, and we will spare Catherine's life. Don't listen to him, Shamir! Please me. Even the two of us isn't enough. Try this time! If seeing this sword doesn't frighten you, then perhaps you need to feel it! Run, Catherine. I'm staying. Don't make me drag you out of here, Shamir! Go before I kill you myself! Damn it! Good. We have a contract. The threat has been quelled, but we allowed them far too much leeway. The situation calls for careful reflection. Still, you've saved my life, which means my path for the future remains intact. Thank you. Hubert, did you hear? My father has... vanished. Yes. We should have killed the dastard when we had the chance. What happened to your solemn vow to not let him stage a comeback? <sighs> I told you this would happen. I think you knew he would try and scrabble his way out of his predicament. Such is the nature of a noble. Until you finally squash them, that is. I have no way to refute that point. I could excoriate you further, but we lack the time. We must get to the bottom of this, and quickly. The Knights of Saros descended on us with the fury I have rarely seen. In all that confusion, even a bear could have slipped away without raising an alarm. I would not go so far as to call them conspirators, but my father had many old friends in the palace. Some may have turned a blind eye. They should be found and questioned. I agree. That is one possibility. Well, there is another. Yes, well, now that we have a fugitive on our hands, I intend to make full use of it. This situation affords us a chance to remedy another. If that is the beginning of a scheme, Hubert, you do a terribly poor job of veiling it. It is no concern of yours. Not yet, at any rate. Right. Lovely. Well, so long as whatever you're planning has Edelgard's blessing and will be of aid to the Empire, I will brook no complaint. All will be revealed in time. Child's play. Inconsequential. Can't let this power go unused. One step at a time. I'm told the secret passage they used was sealed off centuries ago. Yes. The palace floor plans failed to even show it. I'm shocked the church knew of its existence. In the age of Saros, the Empire and church were intimately related. It's safe to assume the central church took pains to retain its information from the time. I shudder to think what other inconvenient secrets they might be privy to. Yes. Well, based on the scale of the attack, they must have seen this as their first and only chance. Ah, there you are. They said you wanted to talk? Uh, yes. I believe I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? What for? 
To be blunt, I thought you were with the enemy. I had you pegged for an informant, planted among us by those who slither in the dark. It was not an unreasonable assumption. You enter Her Majesty's life at the perfect time, allure her with your strength, and choose our house to study with. And oh, surprise! You have dark powers. It was all too much to dismiss as mere coincidence. It was at Hubert's suggestion that I appointed you captain of our mercenary unit. He felt this would allow us to quietly assess your abilities and allegiances, and I agreed. I know I told you I did this because I believed in you and your strength, but the decision was somewhat more nuanced than that. I'm sorry. The moment I got wind of this attack, I immediately thought of you. This is it, I thought. The traitor has sprung the trap, and now the Emperor's life is in danger. But instead, you thwarted the assassination attempt and kept Her Majesty safe. I was wrong about you. Deeply so. And for that, I am ashamed beyond measure. Pray forgive me. Don't worry about it. I would have done the same. Honestly, I thought it was weird how quick you both trusted me. Good to finally know the reason behind it all. That does not excuse our actions. We had no right to deceive you as we did. But I swear, we will make amends. You have but to let us know how. You can start by trusting me. Or if that's not in the cards, have the decency to tell me you don't to my face. At least then I'll know where I stand. I doubt doing so would have changed anything. But I understand the sentiment. We will attempt to be better going forward. Be better? Really? Hubert, why not just promise to be more forthright? Because that might make me a liar. Let me speak plain. I no longer believe you to be working with the enemy. However, that does not necessarily mean the possibility is now non-existent. <sighs> I guess I did ask for honesty. But look, do you guys trust me or not? Of course we trust you. Or I do, at least. So please. Let us begin this relationship anew on solid ground. Hmm. It is now 1182. The great war Edelgard instigated has swept across Fodland and looks more grim with each passing day. The Empire struggles to hold Aryan Road to the west and the Great Bridge to the east. The kingdom cannot bring Western lands to heal. Even the Alliance must face changing times. The Central Church sends the Knights of Saros to the Imperial capital to assassinate the Emperor, but fails. Roughly half a year passes before the tides show any true sign of shifting.